Ooh, I'm looking forward to this. So hungry today. Have you never heard about the saying that in order to fish good, one must eat good? Check it out what we got for today, huh? We got some vinaigrette salad on top right here. And below, oh yes, we got some rice with furikake on top and two Brazilian Toscana sausages. We are going to be fishing a very interesting quarry around my area today, trying to catch some trout. But you know what? Give me five minutes. Let me finish this first and then we'll talk about it. You know, we have two types of sausages in Brazil that are very popular. One, we call the linguiça calabresa. And the other one is this baby right over here that we call the linguiça toscana. 32 years old, being in the United States now for 14 years. Still one of my favorites. Which is why up to this day, I still get them out there. <laughs> Even here. Mm, anyways, I just finished my meal. It was a very good meal. There's just something about eating outdoors that is very empowering and pleasant at the same time. All right, now that I'm filled with energy, let's talk a little bit about the fishing that we're going to do today. I'm here at my local quarry. Check it out. It is a very deep area and the water is very, very clear over here. You guys probably have seen me shoot some videos here in the past as well. Now, here's the fun fact of the day. This place actually gets stocked with trout every year. And earlier this year, 2021, they stocked this place with very few fish. I heard more specifically from a subscriber that they only stocked this place with 100 trout. But here is the plot twist. Every single one of those trout were actually golden rainbow trout. And that is a mutation that I haven't caught this year yet. So the main objective of today is I got two ultralight rods here with me. We're going to set them up and I'm going to probe the waters. I mean, I fully understand that it is August right now, right? And um, they stock this place probably around March or April. So the main objective is really to see if there is still any banana trout around or not. I'm going to set one rod with power bait, another one with tiny lures, or maybe even an inline spinner. The EPF is swim, and we're going to spend a full afternoon over here probing the deep waters of the clear quarry. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff right over here. As you folks should be aware of, right? Especially the golden mutation. They really, really like their dough. I'm using one of my favorites actually, the power bait salmon dough. I really like the salmon peach flavor. And since the waters over here are pretty clear and deep, right? Kind of similar to the Round Valley Reservoir in New Jersey. When I go fishing over there, I use a very similar setup I have my leader with the power bait over here much, much above, right, in comparison to when I go creek fishing. All right, that being said, it is time to cast this little baby out there. I was just going to give one cast here to the left side. doesn't really matter. We're going to be probing these waters for the entire afternoon. The key idea is that you got to let it sink all the way down, though. Don't close the bail. You see that? Though it's still going still going yeah it is a good 20 or something feet down there put it in the rod holder and now it is really the most difficult part of the day right waiting for the fish to bite now let me tell you all something this is just a gentle reminder from extreme fully fishing i just came to this fishing spot set up over here and look what i found look what i found is this for real there are four trash bags right over here why people gotta do this kind of stuff so, gentle reminder, if you call yourself an, a sportsman, okay, or a sportswoman, make sure that you throw this in the trash, okay? All right, let's wait for the fish to bite now.
Oh, something came out of the weeds. What have we got here? Ah, first species of the day, huh? On the EPF swim. Oh, definitely not a trout. Haven't seen any signs of trout around here in the shallow zones, but look at that, huh? We got an old, mean, green sunfish. All pissed that he fell victim, obviously, <laughs> to the EPF swim. I have to say, did not expect this fell over here to be the first species of the day. You know, I was expecting more like a tiny large mouth or something like that. Look at that, huh? So mean, the Lepomis cyanellus. The water over here is so clear too. Whoa, whoa, easy, bro. <laughs> All right, it is gone. No action on the power bait whatsoever. I'm going to recast this rod over here and keep working the EPF swim to see if we find uh, anything exceptional in this quarry. He looked chunky to be bluegill. Oh my lord, it's not bluegill. That's why it's green sunfish. Even the green sunfish over here are so finicky. This is unbelievable. Really, really hard to believe. I was looking at them and I was just like, man, this fish look a little bit too chunky to be bluegill. Well, needless to say, EPF swim, even super clear water, we can still fool the fish, huh, into biting it. Look how clear it is. Look at that. Green sunfish, just unbelievable, isn't it? So clear. There we go. There we go, boy. Get it, son. Hey, <laughs> EPF swim. EPF swim always works. Drop it right by the woods. Look at that. Fell victim to it. Not exactly what we're looking for, but hey, tell you all what, right? Better than nothing. I don't want this dude to touch ground too much. So, quick handling, quick photo, quick release. Yeah. Second species of the day. Micropterus salmoides. Took my tail too, man. I've been giving this fish a little bit of water over here. Look how sad it looks. It is probably like that because it fell victim to the EPF swim, you know? Yeah, look at that. It's still in its mouth. Feisty because it's been getting some oxygen down there. Took my tail too. But look at that, huh? We got ourselves here second species of the day. Boy, let me tell you, I haven't seen a single trout even follow my stuff today yet. But needless to say, at least we got some action going on here, huh? Little one, but a uh, beautiful fish regardless. I'm gonna fool around with the EPF swim for a little bit more. I don't know, I may change plans later in the day. Try a few more spots here in the quarry. So far, the action has been very slow. Like I told you guys at the beginning of this video, they did stock this place earlier this year in March or April, right? So I mean 100 fish. Now we got April, May, June, July, August, five months. Chances are that there are none left, but we will see. Oh, what a day, what a day, huh? Check that out. I'm still kind of getting dry over here, as you guys can see, you know, every time it is like this, it means that EPF kind of went in the water. Usually my videos are 20 minutes long. The fact that this video is a little bit shorter, right, definitely means that today was a tough day on the water. Like I said, I just took about 30, 45 minutes to explore the little creek behind here and i didn't do that bad we ended up catching some different species of fish there like the red breast sunfish the lepomis auditus and even some creek chub the semotilus atromaculatus but you know our purpose for today right the main objective ah uh, can't say that i expected it to show up but 
well, you know, it is what it is, right? That's why they call this fishing and not exactly catching. So there you have it. I just talked to some of the locals there. They're still fishing the dock. Um, it is pretty pressure right now at the end of the day, I have to say, a lot of people out here and some of them actually let me know that there's still a few trout left in here so they're down there it <laughs> it is just not easy to catch them right that being said this is my one time uh, that i'm going to fish this area this year i do this annually you know it is like my one time per year quarry fishing so i hope you guys enjoyed this videos right it was good news and bad news bad news we didn't achieve our objective of the day but the good news though you guys saw it we used the epf swim today and we did catch some fish even in this very highly pressured body of water right so that is the prowess of the lure right over there all right i'm gonna bring you guys another video here in a few days we are definitely catching up on the schedule thank you very much for watching i'll see you all next time tight lines and take it easy Are you still selling those little, uh, the little swim baits that you made for? Uh... Yeah, right now they're mostly out of stock. All right. There are only two colors left on the website. All right. Yeah, but we're gonna restock them probably before the end of August. Okay. Yes. Oh, you get your shit that they're What is it? They're the little swim baits. Okay. Yeah, I don't have uh, unopened packs over here. Otherwise, I would give it to you, but. Let me see over here. If you don't mind, I have some open packs if you want. Yeah, sure. Here, man. Just take it and use it and fish it, you know? Let me see if I have some jigs that I can spare to you. Yeah, but like I said, they're all open though. Sorry, I don't... If I had a new, you know, here, there's a 132 size 6 that you compare with that. Of course. Oh, actually, you know what? There's an, op an open one over here. Thank yeah, you. you can take it. Yeah, absolutely. As far as you catch some fish on them, you know? Yeah. And if you have Instagram and stuff, just send me the photos. All right, definitely. Yeah. <laughs>